some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom in Bay County, Florida, where we find a Sovtard who just doesn't seem to get how the law works and tries that Sovtard legal mumbo-jumbo that really doesn't work on any judge whatsoever. And guess what? It doesn't work on this one either, and he gets shut down quick, fast, and in a hurry. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking show on the road, shall we? Daniel McDonald. Here in regards to that matter, sir. Excuse me? I'm here in regards to that matter. Okay, are you, you said I'm here. Who was I? Who are you? Uh, living man. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! Oh, come on now, you freaking dipshit, dumbass, lead paint drinking, sovtard moron. These living corporate bullshit arguments are not going to work with judges in this day and time because that just is a bunch of legal nonsense mumbo jumbo that you sovtards came up with to try to, uh, well, get one over on the judges. And, well, it generally doesn't work out in your favor. You guys might want to try something more intelligent, like. Like, oh, I don't know. Actually learning the law? Well, if you're talking to me, I suppose you're living. I hope you're living, unless <laughs> I'm assuming. There's nothing funny. Who are you? Uh, my name's Roman, sir. Roman? Yes, sir. Hello. Are you an attorney? Yes, sir. Well, unless you're an attorney, you don't need to represent Mr. Daniel McDonald. <laughs> you can have a seat. You said Roman? Yes, sir. And you're not an attorney? No, sir. What's your relationship to Mr. McDonald? Uh, depending. Are you representing Mr. McDonald? Yes. But you're not a member of the Florida Bar? No, sir. Are you a member of any state bar? No, sir. Did you go to law school? No, sir. So how are you representing Mr. McDonald? Well, of course not, Your Honor. He didn't go to law school. He watched a few hours of uh, Chili de Castro on YouTube and thought that he could be just as insightful and uh, as wrong as, as that total incompetent 20-year uh, law scholar can be. In fact, he's so well-versed in the law that he's unaware that you have to have a license to represent somebody other than yourself. Yeah, this is not going to work out too well for him, huh? I would just like to ask some questions in regard to that matter, sir. You can answer my questions regarding that matter. What's your last name? McDonald. So your name is Roman McDonald? Yes, sir. And are you related to Daniel McDonald? Uh, I just go by Roman, sir. You just told me that. Are you related to Daniel McDonald? Uh, yes, That the name on your docket is uh, in relation to me, yes, sir. And your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. Well, you stood up, so I'm assuming it's in relation to you, but you do, you're not, are you Daniel McDonald? Uh, yes, sir. Come, come on up, Mr. McDonald. <laughs> That's nothing funny. We don't have time for these games. Come on up. I just go by wrong, sir. Well, all you had to do is say I'm Mr. McDonald. You didn't have to say I'm representing him. In, I'm related to him. All you have to do is say I'm Mr. McDonald and come I forward. I apologize for the confusion. Okay. Sir. Has the state filed an information in this case? No, no one calls me one, one moment. Sorry. Has the state filed an information in this case? Not this time. All right, Mr. McDonald, we will see you next month uh, for an arraignment, November 12th at 9.30. Sir, I haven't entered any type of plea. I, would, uh... I know the state hasn't filed an information. It's not time for you to enter a plea. Can if they I... decide, if the state decides to file an information, we'll, um, you can enter a plea at that time. Can I motion for dismissal right now based on procedural grounds? There's nothing to dismiss. The state hasn't filed an information. Oh, that's real funny right there, Softard. Can I file a motion to dismiss based on procedural grounds? Uh, dude, you admitted that you never went to law school. So how do you know what the procedures are when you can't even figure out the basics, such as you need uh, to have a license 
to uh, actually represent somebody other than yourself. I mean, that's just basic knowledge. My suggestion to you is to go find an actual attorney instead of uh, acting as one yourself because you're not any good at this. In fact, you're about as, du as dumb as Chili de Castro, like I said before. What are you dismissing? Uh, did I put in a uh, uh, an affidavit and a, a a demurmer, a motion to dismiss, and it hasn't been responded to. I think the uh, the state attorney has 15 days to respond to that motion, and they have not. A motion to dismiss what? Uh, the cases, the matter. The state hasn't filed an information. There's nothing to dismiss. There's nothing to respond to. If the state decides to file an information, you can renew your motion to dismiss. If you're going to represent yourself, Mr. McDonald, and if so, I'll ask you a few questions. But right now, the state hasn't filed any information, so we'll come back November 12th at 930, okay? Sir, I got two more questions, if you don't mind. Is yes, there, sir. Is there a verified claim against me? A verified claim? Yes. I'm assuming you're talking about an information. The state hasn't filed an information. That's under oath and is verified. Are there any orders? Can I be released the orders of the court? Were you arrested? Yes. You're not in jail? Correct. You are released on orders of the court already. Is there any anything additional orders of the court or just waiting on the prosecutor to file additional information? Right. Not an additional else, information, right? waiting on the prosecutor to decide whether or not they're going to file formal charges in the form of an information. If they do, we'll, um, you can enter your plea. And if you want to file a motion to dismiss, we'll set it for here. Is there any reason why they hadn't filed any already? That's none of my concern. They have a statutory period of time to file an information and... If that time comes or goes, we'll address it. But uh, right now, they haven't filed any information. If you hire an attorney, your attorney can reach out to Mr. Patterson. If you want to represent yourself, I'll ask you a few questions next month, and you can speak to Mr. Patterson about it. More more likely than not, uh, for self-represented litigants, attorneys, uh, prosecutors only speak to them on the record. Uh, so we'll come back next month at 930, okay? Sir, my only problem is I live six hours away. Oh. <laughs> All right. You can always hire an attorney and they can file a notice of appearance and written plea of not guilty for you. If you want to seek the services of the public defender's office, you can file, fill out an application. The clerk will determine whether or not you're indigent. And if you are, I'll appoint the law office of him and Mark Sims to represent you. And Mr. Hill knows exactly what he's doing. He can contact my office and file a waiver of presence or ask that you appear by Zoom. But right now we'll come back November 12th at 9.30. I would, if there's any way possible, I'd like to handle these matters today. Handle what matter? I, any matters in regard to that name. And I know you have business to attend to, so yes, I'll hold you up. But No, you're not holding me up. We are attending. It's to not, not easy to take two days off work to, to be here and, and then nothing happened. You know? Well, I just told you what you can do. Yeah, Your Honor, you told him what to do, but like any sovereign citizen, it goes in one ear and out the other, and, uh, well, that's because there's nothing in between those ears to catch it. Because whatever gray matter they had in their head, uh, well, that was dissolved a long time ago by the, uh, lead paint laced uh, kool-aid they drank given to them courtesy of all these soft tart gurus who just want to make a buck off of them so we'll see you november 12th at 9 30. thank you sign you can sign this notice That's a notice giving you the date and time for your next court date. Thank you. If you want to complete the application for indigency before then, just contact the clerk's office and fill that out. Or if you want to hire an attorney, hire you an attorney. Or if you want to represent yourself, just come on back here on November 12th and I'll ask you a few questions. Well, so much for that. This judge shut down this soft tart quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah, something tells me that this uh, soft tart was rather new at this game. And, uh, well, it didn't exactly work out for him because this judge is probably experienced with this kind of stuff. So he's not going to put up with this sovereign citizen bullshit.
So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?